For those who might know me, you'll probably associate me with art, but there is something else that equally occupies my imagination, wildflowers. When I tell people this, it can sound rather whimsical, but for the last 20 years, I have been associated with Plant Life, formerly as its chairman and now as its president, and I'm completely committed to saving this wondrously important part of our natural heritage. About 15 years ago, we bought an ancient manor house. The tragedy was, though, that the land around it had been aggressively farmed. There was almost nothing here, acidic green. So we began to nurse it back to life. We're not alone in actually having these challenges. Since about 1930, we've lost 98% of our meadowland to things like intensive agriculture and urbanization. Here was an opportunity to do something. I mean, to me, one of the great things about English wildflowers is the way their names teleport you back to history. This profusion of yellow around me, bird's foot, trefoil. But this is just one of, I think, about 70 common names for this wildflower. And my favorite, unquestionably, ladies' slippers. Why? Because these beguiling little flower heads look exactly like medieval footwear for women, or a certain type of slipper. I have to say, I'm also not the only one who adores these flowers around me. There must be about a hundred bees here as well. And some plants get their ancient names entirely because they have some practical function. This is called wound word. Word meaning flower, wound meaning a cut. And it was used to staunch wounds and to treat them. If you take off one of the lower leaves, crush it. You can sort of imagine why. It's very pungent. Well, this beautifully showy little one that comes out each spring, Red Campion. Now it's thought it's not certain, but possibly gets its name from the adaption of the word champion. Why? Because this is just the sort of fly you'd put in a wreath around your head to signify your achievement. And then the greatest prize of all, these fantastically beautiful plants arrived common spotted orchid. I mean, we're not sure what we've done to deserve them. And, and look where they've come, next to this great big bramble bush. And that's the whole point about wildflowers. You know, they don't turn up where you expect them to. They just arrive if they want to. So that the message that they seem to deliver is look after them, and with any luck, they'll look after you. nature reserves across England, Scotland and Wales, with lobbying, campaigning, research, we're just beginning to make a difference to help the wildflower. Help us, please, in any way you can, to bring back the subtle, poetic, if not the artistic aspect of our natural countryside.